Hey, what's going on guys? So real quick today, I'm going to show you how to partition an external hard drive. This is really easy to do. And it's nice because it kind of allows you to have two different hard drives on one hard drive, if that makes any sense. So for example, I have this Toshiba drive right here. In total, it's two terabytes. But what I want to do is I want to use one terabyte of that for my time machine backups and then the other terabyte for other storage, you know, whether it's like videos, YouTube stuff, things like that. So in order to do that, I need to partition this drive because if you just go to time machine and you click on that drive right here, it'll use the entire two terabytes in the time machine format. So you won't be able to store other items on it. So let's show you how you can go ahead and do this. So this is really simple. What you want to do is obviously plug in your external drive and then once you do that and it pops up, you can go into disk utility and you'll be able to see it right here. Now I was already messing around with this drive uh, earlier. I already formatted it for Mac OS Extended Journal. You don't have to quite do that uh, at the moment because we're about to change it anyways. But this is what you should see. You should see your drive uh, pop up here. Now what you want to do um, in this particular case, you notice that partition is grayed out and it says disk with master boot record partition maps can't be partitioned. So this is kind of like a partition on the master boot record. Okay, so what we need to do is go to view and hit show all devices. And when you do that, you can then see that we have this selected. If we select this one, this is the master boot record. So this needs to be reformatted in order to allow us to partition the drive. So be sure you select this top one here on your drive if you're having this issue. And then we can go to the erase right here. And it's going to want you to change uh, the name here. Um, I would just probably name it kind of whatever it's named uh, at the moment. Uh, that way you can just easily identify it. So I'm just going to actually just take this, copy this right here. We'll copy it and then we'll paste it. I'm going to get rid of the USB part or the media part. Anyways, uh, down here under the scheme, you want to click here and you want to do the GUID partition map. That's going to allow us to be able to actually partition the drive. You don't need that master boot record. And then, uh, like I said, Mac OS Extended Journal is what you're going to want to put uh, here. That's going to allow you to use it with any Mac computer. If you do the Apple file system, which is up here, uh, you'll only be able to use it on newer Macs. So just do the Mac OS Extended Journal. Uh, Apple file system is a little more encrypted. Uh, and then if you do one of these down here, I think if you want to do this one, that'll allow you to use this on Windows uh, as well. So if you're going to be kind of moving this drive around, uh, you definitely want to do that. But we're just going to do the Mac OS Extended Journal right here. Uh, that's what we want. And then you're going to click on the erase. And when you click on erase, it's going to start uh, doing that for you. So we'll just give it a moment uh, to do all that. It is important to note, I, I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm going to say it. Uh, this will erase everything on the drive. So if you do have stuff already stored on there, be sure that you have it backed up somewhere else because you will no longer have it uh, after this step. And anyways, you can see that we have now got it completed. So we're going to click done. You can see there's our master boot record and all this stuff uh, is good to go here. So now since we have this in our GUID, you can click back down here on this one. You can see media and USB. This is what we just made. So now we can click partition and you're going to get this screen uh, right here. So um, what you can do is click the plus and it'll probably just divide it uh, right in half for you uh, just like it should be. So you can see that over here it tells you about it everything. You can then choose the name of your partition. 
for now I'm just going to leave it untitled uh, you can change that uh, here in a moment but Mac OS Senate Journal one partition and you can create as many as you want you can also uh, undo this process if you want to later but you can see you can click on different ones uh, there but let's go ahead and hit apply and it's going to tell you that it's going to partition the device we'll change some of the partitions none will be erased we're going to add that one and it's going to resize that one so you hit partition and it's going to go ahead and do that for us and when it gets done on our desktop we'll have two separate drives so let's go ahead and give this a moment all right so we have that done and as you can see over here on the right there's our two drives and our two drives are right here we now have that new untitled partition so it's as simple as that you can also uh, basically kind of undo this uh, if you want to now have those two drives partitioned you can use them uh, for whatever you'd like so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching the channel uh, and I'll catch you on the next one